Okay, I'm going to just try and get through the next little bit. I suppose I want to think about this slightly, do I? Maybe not. This goes. Draw mode menu title is no longer draw mode menu title, it's draw mode button text. This is the bit where previously I was showing or hiding these. The reason I pause and think about this a little bit uh, is this activates those buttons that are uh, like. I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that uh, these buttons are the ones that refer to a corner. Add after, add before. And it's a bit daft, this, uh, you know, this function just activates or deactivates all those buttons, when really I just need to put all those buttons into a zone, and that's that. And in fact, if I'm thinking sensible, I have a loop insert after, insert before, and remove corner, all inside something called corner zone. And look, I knew that that would happen, because I made something called corner zone. And I think that for the sake of it, I'm going to make something that is called frame zone and I'll just stick some globals in to remind me uh, th there will be things like uh, again it'll be uh, well it's insert after and insert before and loop it, well it's actually the same set but it refers to a corner hmm. no it refers to a frame z frame corner as opposed to a segment corner. So let me think. I could just reuse those buttons. And actually, actually that is what I'll do. That is what I will do. And I'm not going to have such a thing as a corner zone. I'm going to leave all those buttons there under any circumstances. Wait a moment. I will have a corner zone. And in fact, I'll set it up just now. The reason I'll have it is not for the purposes of hiding them, but for the purposes of disabling them. Whenever no corner is selected, it does have to it does have to disable those those buttons. I'll come back to how I will use these buttons to manipulate the corners of the frames. There's a way I think to do it with we'll see how it goes. Now that's gonna be a tricky thing to do. As I think about that, that's a tricky it's a tricky thing to do. A, uh, manipulating the frame altogether is a slightly tricky thing to do. But, for the time being, I want to get back to refresh. No, not for the time being. First, I'm going to go straight back to setup. I'm going to find the sidebar. I'm going to find where the these buttons are. Not these buttons, but these buttons. And I'm going to make a new zone. I'm going to say corner zone equal 
was new zone side bar now here's where I try to get sort of not clever but I say Corner zone height equals equals a uh, bottom height times four, and I do this in a kind of reverse order. Do I? Does this make any sense? Yeah. Well, it kind of does. Uh, not really. C zone height. I know that I know what that looks like, just stupidness, but it's because if I come back here, if I decide these buttons are the wrong size, I can change them on mass by changing the size of the C zone and saving myself a little tiny bit of bother. Face height no no, this is uh CX I guess I can say, but it is always zero point zero. Comma face height minus Corner zone height, comma, face width, comma, corner zone height, corner zone, align sides, uh, left low, right high, top and bottom both high. Um, I don't need to do this. Uh, uh. Now. now, this can go in the correct order now, and I'm tempted just to do that. Where's the... grid guide. I just forgot to add one. Remove corner button. I almost feel I remember writing that one. Well, I suppose maybe saves me slightly. Remove corner button equals new my button. This goes in corner zone, as do these following ones. But I also say CX zero and CY equals zero point zero. CX from CY comma. Now I am going to say button width equals corner zone face width. It's all a bit pedantic, but it just makes it kind of attaches Oops. Oh, I need a remove corner button. It, it has no string. Uh, it just it kind of makes the dependency, which uh, you know, as I'm creating this gadget, when I assign things like that, it means that from now on I'm working inside the corner zone, and it doesn't really matter what button width was before these buttons belong inside the corner zone and actually they're going to take on its shape. They'll look the same as they did before. I can change them the same way I did before, but I can also change them collectively by changing corner zone. Uh, there may be better ways to do that. In fact, I'm sure there are, but anyway. And this is cross. I used cross. I know I did. Where on earth guess I'm wrong. Align 
size. Now the remove corner button is low, high, low, proportional. C Y plus equals button height. And I am going to use button height here, am I? Yeah, I am. Because these four little buttons all just belong together. And I am even going to neaten them up into a little, a little row. This is all corner zones. Corner. And the ultimate way it claims them is by being the parent. This top and bottom side are proportional. Top and bottom side are proportional. This top side is proportional. Bottom side remains locked high. Which is to say to the lower side because the lower is higher. Computer screens. That bit's irrelevant, but I'll leave it in in case for some reason something else happens to go in here. I'd have to change that number too. Actually, I wouldn't really. It's just the buttons would start to get smaller. Okay, so what did I do there? I made corner zone and I made these. Then I used my scroll wheel and everything the world changed. So a response still responds like this to any possible thing. Refresh now. I'm just going to say corner zone active. Otherwise I say Actually, I think I'm committing to this, so, and if I'm not committing to exactly this, I think I'm committing to something more similar to using the gadget structure, rather than rattling through a bunch of things on my own. And okay little detour there and the reason I got back to that detour was because I was thinking about this here is OpenGL and Software Zone things which no longer exist paper color button and ink color button merely exist I should maybe make them into maybe I should make Like oh, most of this disappears. There's so I can really. I think I can just get rid of that. There is no segment style menu in the main screen now. There is only paper and color. That's just a pair of things. Do I really want to make a new zone? I do not. What I want to do is say. Paper color button show, ink color button show, gradient button hide. I am going to come to regret this because I'm already beginning to formulate, uh, I'll speak about it later, but for the time being this is the way it will be. And I'm committing that all this is irrelevant. It will appear inside the draw mode option button window my sing paper color button hide ink color button hide gradient And here I should probably do a, I guess, gradient button. There's not much I can do with the gradient button just now. It's just non-functional. I can set a color. 
G color. That's not what I want. Yeah, right, okay, fine. What I want to be able to do, really, I think, is method set gradient. Am I in the right thing? Yeah. Is it just a gradient? My brain is wrecked. Gradient. G gradient uh, equals null. I might need a default gradient. Nah, yeah, probably. But anyway, for the time being, it doesn't do anything. I just want it there because in here, I want set gradient to set it to project.gradient. Oh dear. Yeah, it's actually set to a gradient set. What am I saying? Yeah, this set gradient button, fair enough, it's a misnomer. It needs to, uh, yeah, it's basically, it needs to take a gradient set. leave it called set gradient because I'm just coarse and coarse and can't think of anything more well you know can't decide a better thing to say so hell of it right copy log text copy right that is no longer a relevant thing now now cancel button hide yeah and it's actually cancel render anim button set text Okay, yeah. What this actually means is render menu show. Render menu hide. And that is more or less the end of that for now. Some other changes will occur. But for now, that's it. No, it's not. Look at that. Uh, actually, this is can just go away. I'm committing to never needing that, he said. How am I doing? Right. Onwards. Draw mode option. Well, okay, so how does draw mode options work? What do I need in lot and hit? I need the low threshold, the high threshold. Should I have the color buttons and gradient button in here? Should I just say, I really feel like I don't need them in here. I feel like, ah, oh man. It's not even like having when the gradient button is outside of here, it's not even really like using it does much. I'm tang it all, you know, I'm gonna stick them in. I'm gonna do it. It's a means going back and making another change to this, but I just don't care. I'm happy to get, you know, another couple of little things out of the main section of the GUI, which is still a crowded place. They're rarely, you know, you just open the bloody draw options box and there they are. Um, yeah, and there is a kind of, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to go into here and say, you come away. I'm going to creep down with my mouse wheel. I'm going to find the bit where it says this. I'm going to copy this in. Oops. And then I'm going to go back up to gradient button. I'm going to take that as well. And I'm going to go 
back down to setup and I'm going to where did I put it? I put it in the correct place here and I'm going to copy this in and then I'm going to take all of this and take it away and then I go straight from render options to draw mode button hey I'm missing a I should be saying CX minus BW there I really am sure because I need to use yeah CX minus SX no I don't because this I was clever this is that means it's the beginning of draw mode anyway mm -hmm. Because I'm counting back the way CX is set to the start of the draw mode button, which is where the position slider needs to end. That goes away, and those things stitch up. This is my simple minded thinking, but I mustn't do anything before I go to draw mode options. Take a little looky, and feel myself going insane again. copy that in and these will be here fields and fields one little weird thing in here and we'll see how it works I'll see what I have to do the gradient color button opens another window what happens I uh, know I kind of know what happens sort of. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, okay, no. I'm wondering what happens if I open the draw mode options window, open the gradient color window, close the draw mode option window, cancel the draw mode options window, then apply the gradient color button, gradient button window, well, gradient uh, set, you know, window. And I can tell you that that will apply the the gradient change to the to the project. I can change it so it doesn't do that, but I'm not going to. Not just now anyway. I'll see how I get on. I'll see just how manageable it is generally. Anyway, these are the other buttons that I need. They actually need to be somewhere in here, I think. Uh, like paper and ink color should be an open GL zone, shouldn't they? Should they? Yeah, and gradient button in software zone. Just trying to imagine how this draws. And uh, I am hesitating, not for no reason. And not only because I'm totally thick, it's because I'm still hesitant because I've got these two zones, OpenGL zone and software zone, and really, yeah, this is not OpenGL for starters, it's just hardware, hardware versus software. And actually software is not a good name, it should just be gradient zone, because these things do have all, you know, they have their, their basic way of drawing. Gradient uses you know, the data buffer to draw into, but there are actually a lot of ways to draw using the data buffer, I think. For the time being, it will remain OpenGL and software zone. That belongs there. This stuff comes with me. These things are fine. And this stuff gets dumped into <laughs> here. My mouse wheel makes me want to cry. Um, so, what a mess of stuff. Draw mode menu, open GL zone, software zone, segment style menu, line width button, paper color button, gradient button. None of that's in the right order, doesn't matter. Also, I'll take this and stick it here. back up here just to make a little bit of 
room so I can see what sections of bits of code I'm dealing with. that works properly. What's the first thing you don't see? Top bar. Of course you don't. So, before I do anything there, I want to go all the way back up to somewhere. Somewhere round about... Refresh. Because I know that what I've just done will have saddened Refresh. Yeah. Basically don't need anything to do with the draw mode. And I'm committing to this as well. You're not going to see that in the main GUI display. How's it going? Okay, well, I'm just going to do another five or ten minutes. I do have something else I need to do. So, for the time being, that is back to basically working. I know there'll be something else, though. Which is paper and ink color and gradient button for that matter. Off you pop. And in response draw mode menu, segment style menu, this and also Gradient editor. You're in draw mode. Gradient editor is right here. He said. Oh, I see. It's in GUI gradient editor. I guess I'll stick the gradient editor and stuff. Yeah, gradient editor, render options, and draw options will not go there. They may be parts of the GUI. Yeah, they may be. How is this place looking? Yeah, I, I think they're coming out there. Project, project, uh, time. Okay. This will be update gadgets. And that will be repeated many places. I should really try and get used to Okay. Well, it was GUI draw options equals null. I mean draw options equals null. I was ahead of myself on that occasion. I'm going to have to do the same here, haven't I? Image options. Is there nothing in video options? Is there nothing yet? But there is another little thing. Gradient editor. I'd completely forgotten writing this. Oh, look at all that stuff. I'll have to watch. There may be some problem running, uh, boosting the gradient editor from the uh, from the draw options, draw mode options. Uh, okay. Well, that's just gone half an hour. I'm going to go and eat, and I will carry on churning through this.
this.